This is our Nox, the first reactor you can get in HBM. If mishandled, it will explode at any moment. For this demonstration, this reactor will require three industrial turbines, an auxiliary cooling tower, a chemical plant, a chunk cooling device, an energy storage block, and an infinite water tank. For the chemical plant, we'll be processing natural gas into carbon dioxide. Let's hook it up to the Xernox. Keep the build safe, we'll be placing down a chunk loading drone. If we didn't do this, it would risk the device exploding when the chunks are unloaded. Next, we'll be setting up the steam. This reactor processes water into super dense steam. This means we need multiple turbines to process down each density of steam. With industrial steam turbines, the front is the input and the sides are outputs. Let's hook up the cooling tower to both the steam turbine and the water supply. Next, we'll be talking about rods. Rods are one of the most important parts of Xernox. Since if done wrong, the reactor can take in too much heat and explode as a result. Each rod has a maximum amount of heat it can produce. We have whisted them from least to most of heat. The thorium and lithium rods are able to be bred with the reactor into radioactive forms. The reactor itself is designed in a grid format. The idea is that the closer to the middle, the faster the fuel rod will deplete. These top gauges represent temperature and pressure. If the temperature reaches 800 Celsius, it will explode. The same can happen if pressure within the reactor reaches 32 or higher. These lower gauges represent carbon dioxide, steam, and water. Carbon dioxide is required to vent pressure using the valve. The steam gauge represents the quantity of super dense steam, and the water gauge represents the amount of water within the reactor. For this demonstration, we'll be using the lithium to tritium breeding process. Here is our template for the rod placement. Let's insert it into the reactor and see what happens. To start the reactor, we just press this red button. This reactor, even with max efficiency, is not great with power production. Our fuel placement only nests with 150,000 HE per second. Although, it is proficient at depleting large scales of fuel rods. From there, you can use those resources to branch off into more powerful reactors like the RBMK or PWR. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to like and subscribe. We're shooting for 1,000 subscribers. Alright chat, see ya.